Hey guys, it's Jerky and today I have a package from the Cuba Ball. So yeah, it's been a while since I've last time boxed a package on this channel. And it's also been about 5 months since I last ordered a package. So yeah, I'm relatively excited about that. I have some pretty exciting stuff in here, so let's get right into it. Oh, don't mind that. Oh, my arm is from a rope burn. <laughs> Am I just weak? So, got the YJ NGC Square One, the G Long Mini 4x4, X Men Tornado, and then Vision 4x4. Then I got some mystery puzzles, some loops. It was the two dollar mystery puzzles, and I have. I'm not gonna question that. This was a mini cube that came for free. Then a cheese cell that came for free, and another pre-used <laughs> mystery puzzle that was two dollars, and. What's this? Nothing. Whatever this is, I've seen those. And them I see, which you do not need to see. So I'll move all this other stuff out the way. And here's a clear shot of all the stuff. Yeah. Alright, I'll go ahead and get into the other puzzles. I'll start with one I'm not that excited for, I just got one cause I really like YJ and there's no like, did I I don't know, it wouldn't make sense if I didn't get a this YJ 4x4 did I scratch the box? I scratched the box, okay I'm sorry about this my current 4x4 main is a YJ MGC4, which I do not currently see in my side of view right now. So, yeah. I wanted to get some new 4x4s because I'm going to be going to an upcoming comp next month. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. And it's going to have 4x4 magnets, just the regular YJ stuff. Boxing. Oh my god, this is tiny. For reference, I'm pretty sure the main long is 59 millimeters. And this is 56. So, yeah. Super tiny. And I'm pretty sure this is like all the YJ shades from my NGC4. Yeah, pretty similar shades. Okay. Uh, first turns, I guess. Oh, super fast. <laughs> Alright, can already tell I won't be able to use this 4x4. These slices. Maybe if I... Yeah. That seems to flow pretty well. I just can't do slice moves. But out of the box, actually relatively decent. Like, I didn't know what to really expect from this. If I was to expect a lot or 
you know. Yeah, I don't. Um. Um. I'll fix that later. Anyhow, I'll go ahead and move on to the next cube. So for the next cube, I'll move on to the YJ MGC Square One. I've heard a couple things about this, like some mods and other stuff. To that was that piece to make this better. I have no idea if that did anything. All right. Nicely packaged, like always, and just let this no. I always love that. <laughs> okay, I'm assuming the black pieces are in here. Yeah, then along with other accessor. Wait, is it? Or am I blind? Yep, they are. And now they're all over my desk. Okay. And here's square one. I currently use the Angstrom roll with, yeah. I don't like square one that much, but yeah, first turns. These slayers are super fast. Oh wow. Almost a whole U4. Whoa, super strong slice magnets. Oh my god. Oh my. Uh oh. Okay. Super, super strong. And the corner cutting seems to be like crazy. And I messed up. This is where you get to see my. Amazing square one skills. While looking through a camera. What's yeah? What's on top? Yeah, what's on top? Yes. So fast, and it probably has parity. Yep, it definitely has parity. Yeah, I like the slice magnets. I know some other people don't because they're relatively strong, but I think it's going to suit me since I absolutely suck at this event. And I like the UMD layers. Corner cutting. So good. Yeah, I heard the hype over the corner cutting, and it goes up to it. So yeah, I like it. Other people don't. I don't like the frosted plastic. I don't know why YJ did this. It doesn't seem relatively necessary to me because Square One can already fly out of your hands. But, yeah, whatever. So yeah, nice cube. Next, I will get into the Ambition 4x4. So, yeah. I don't want to run any more boxes, so I'll just use my nails. I are mixed opinions on this cube. That's so much of Vlog 4, but I hope isn't exactly like true because I'm not too much of a fan of the Vault 4. Well, I should look at these accessories. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's nice. And a dummy thick pamphlet. Okay. I'm gonna use this case if I main this 4x4 by the time of the comp. Once again, I'm currently maining an MGC4. 
I've been having this weird popping issue recently, so I thought I should just get some good for us. So yeah, feels smaller, can't really tell. Yeah, slightly smaller. Sort of luby. Shades look nice. Yeah, some first time. Really, really light magnets, like. And it's super sandy if you can hear that. It's also super, super light. Which I'm not sure how I feel about that. I prefer to have a little bit more weight so like the pieces can be able to carry. Stronger inners. So it's like you can hear the magnet slightly. I don't know. I'm try slice moves. Oh, the slice is not gonna work. Yeah, the NGC has better slices right now. Yeah. Not bad. Corn cutting. Yeah, I heard that's tied out the box too. Yes, a little tight. Yeah, but still, really nice cube. I like it right now. The feeling is nice. Everything else feels relatively nice except for that slight catching issue. But I'm sure that will go away with the So yeah, the ambition 4x4. Now for the cube that I am most excited for, X-Men Tornado. And I also have my Tengens over here for reference because I heard that the Tengens, well that the Tornado feels like a more stable Tengen, so yeah. Bag, but I sort of like this better. This feels nice. And then adjustment tool. All the other stuff. A card. That's a nice card. Speaking of card, I'm gonna be having a. <laughs> that doesn't make sense whatsoever. I'm gonna be having a boxing on Gan Cube relatively soon. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, isn't there something else that goes in this? I can't tell. Like, doesn't this come apart or something? Yeah, like that. That's weird. Okay, I can go back in its place, please. Okay. Time for a cube. I just gotta admire this top. It's a little blur. Oh, it's blurry because it's in a language I don't speak. I don't know why my camera isn't focusing. It feels sort of flush on the outside. Like, sorry, like the Tengen V2. But, yep, let me keep these nearby and get.
get into some first turns. Super soft. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Super, super soft. I can get the tingling feeling more like with the Tengen V2. Yeah, I can feel the similarities. Man, this is really good. Also, it's hers, like sort of good for a wage. I don't know what I did. Okay. Yeah, that's really nice. So let's go ahead and take a look at this under the core. Or not. Hmm. There's some magnets. Magnets look pretty nice. I'll adjust that later. There's some light liking because I like strong magnets. I can't. Hmm. Alright, I got the cap off, and there's the, the adjustment system, which my camera will not focus on it for some reason. Hmm. Well, I'm sure you've seen it in other videos, it has like that Wrangler core, which looks absolutely beautiful. And yeah, I'll adjust that to my liking later. But yeah, right now, first impressions, this cube. It's really, really good. But at the same time, it might not suit my turning style because the Tingen and the Tingen V2 don't suit my turning style relatively well. Like, I have trouble with it because this, these two just aren't stable enough for me to control due to my turning style, which is relatively rough. Even scrambling it. Hmm. I can't see. Yeah. But right now out of the box I like it so yeah yeah so overall I like these cubes all of them the of course the uh, mr. cubes were flopped part because they were pre-owned but <laughs> I can't do much about that so yeah I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and stay tuned for my unboxing coming soon on the GAN cube that will not be named so yeah I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, then stay to the end, thank you. I'm trying to, of course, bring more content out. And yeah, I'll see you next time, and this is Jailcubing, signing out.